If the famous saying, you are where you eat, were true, then a great majority of us would be a part of a herd of diseased cows crammed into tight quarters, standing in a foot of our own feces. While the global meat industry uh, provides food and a live livelihood for billions of people, there are also significant environmental health consequences on our planet. Um, the meat industry in the United States definitely gets plenty of attention and criticism for the animal cruelty, um, which definitely does exist. However, there's another side that is often, get, often gets ignored, and this is the impact it has on the environment. Um, the meat or with that being said, there has been an a noted increase in the awareness of this impact. Uh, the American meat industry has rapidly grown over the past decade, with um, farmers adding more and more animals to feedlots. To illustrate this, uh, author Fower, author of Eating Animals, stated that the number of broiler chickens in indus industrial farms has doubled to 1.1 billion between the years 1997 and 2007. The numbers of hogs has increased by a third in the same time period as well. Uh, so these overcrowded farms have been known to lead to diseases, which um, is evident through the large number of um, food recalls that have been reported. So I feel pers personally very passionate about this topic because my sister is a vegetarian and I'm a huge animal lover um, and I've also become very um, interested in this and more conscious about the effects um, on the animals and our environment. So when I asked my sister Alyssa Cody about her reasons for choosing a meat-free diet, she claimed that after she saw and researched these horrifying conditions the animals went through, as well as the scary effects the industry had on the environment, that it took all the enjoyment out of eating meat for her. Um, I've also watched the Netflix documentary Food, Inc., which um, has a lot of very disturbing facts about this. Um, so I you know, took it with a grain of salt, but after doing further research, I have come to find that we could be in a great deal of trouble here with this. Uh, so knowing this truth creates awareness that is necessary for um, to create a change. So there are three primary um, negative effects the meat industry has on our environment, though there are many, many more. Uh, these include the significant waste of energy, um, the waste and pollution of our water, and the uh, harmful emissions that are being released. So these three factors are main contributors to the degradation of our environment. So there is a vast amount of energy usage required for meat production. Um, there, uh, according to PETA, which is the organization group, um, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, plant protein is known to be much more um, efficient than animal protein, with meat demanding four times as much energy as green does. It also takes more than 11 times as much fossil fuel to make one calorie from animal protein as it does to make one calorie from plant protein. There are several energy intensive stages um, for raising animals for food. Uh, these include uh, growing corn and soybeans to feed the animals, operating feed meals, um, the slaughterhouses, factory farms, and um, driving the 18 wheelers to transport these animals. So there are certainly a number of progressive um, farming advancements just at our fingertips, but the question is, is it really worth the cost and energy? Um, a large amount of water is also being used for meat production. Brian, Wa Brian Walsh, writer of the article, The Triple Whopper Environmental Impact of Global Meat Production, reported that approximately 2,400 gallons of water are necessary to produce one pound of meat, while only 25 gallons is um, required to grow just one pound of wheat. Uh, water is used for several things, um, for sustaining the crops that feed the animals, providing drinking water, as well as for um, cleaning the filth in the factory farms and slaughterhouses. So not only are we using a great deal of our water, but we're also polluting it. Uh, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, the runoff from factory farms pollutes water more than all, all in other industri industrial sources combined. Uh, the EPA has found also that found that um, chicken, hogs, and cattle excrement have already polluted 3,500 miles of rivers in 22 states. Um, so millions of pounds of this uh, body bodily waste has produced um, produced by the farmed animals in the United States are being stored in lagoons, which are seeping into waterways, killing fish and other animals. Um, so the meat industry both contaminates and overuses our water. Um, 
It also has a surprisingly large contribution to the greenhouse gas emissions released. The livestock industry accounts for an astonishing 18% of all greenhouse gas emissions, uh, measured in carbon dioxide equivalents. Journalist Adler reported that the manure from pigs at factory farms um, are producing gases such as ammonia, methane, hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, cyanide, phosphorus, nitrates, the list goes on. Um, he also reported pathogens like salmonella and guardia are being um, produced by these meats. Um, and all of these gases are definitely contributing to global warming. Not only are there also communities that are being affected by this. Um, people have reported living near these factory farms have reported constant nosebleed, earaches, chronic diarrhea, um, and lung pain. So according to a Consumers Union study in Texas, uh, animal feedlots produce more than 14 million pounds of particulate dust every year. So according to the Environmental Working Group, if everyone in the United States ate no meat or cheese for just one day a week, it would be like not driving 92 billion miles or taking 7.6 million cars off of the road. So although factory farming may seem like the most efficient way to feed um, large in, a large number of people, it is showing extremely harmful outcomes to the environment and our own health. Uh, the average American eats over 200 pounds of meat a year, so it's certainly difficult to give up meat entirely. Um, I feel that that, you know, especially when a plate of delicious smelling bacon is being passed around the table. So then what can you do with this information? Um, there are several other alternative options to giving or than giving up meat completely. Um, simply switching to lower impact meats, animals such as chicken or fish can improve the conditions enormously. Um, I've chosen to reduce my meat consumption. I try to choose uh, different kinds of meats over other kinds um, and also try to eat organically raised meats if I can. So in conclusion, the meat industry is environmentally irresponsible because it um, uses a great deal of energy, it wastes and contaminates our water, and it releases toxic um, gases into the ozone. Um, so the meat industry is unnecessary is an unnecessary contributor contributor to climate change. Thank you.